everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you some holographic glitter gel polishes from yogi and also some poly gels from yogi actually some really nice poly gels i don't normally like poly gel very much i know but i quite like these ones right so they also sent me a top and a base coat the base coat is really thick and so is the top coat so i'm kind of assuming that they are rubber top coats and rubber base coats i can't read the writing that's on top of the bottles though on top of the lids on these bottles they've got they've got some writing that is in uh, uh, some i want to say chinese that's just me being stereotypical um but i'll show you in a minute it was quite stringy the base coat so I'm going to cure that. See, look, base coat. What does that say? Can anyone read that? If you can read that, can you let me know what it says in the in the in the comments? And then also this one is on. Hang on. This is the top coat. This top coat was so thick. Initially, I was like, oh my god, how the heck am I going to put that on a nail? But I was pleasantly surprised. So what does that say? Can you read that one as well? I I'm wondering if they say rubber top coat. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, right. This is the first one from the the rainbow holographic glitter gel it, it comes in a I'll, I'll leave you the link the link to these um they're all in one like listing they're obviously named one to eight so number one is green and it's a green holographic one i don't think i have done the holographic any justice at all they are a lot more hollow in real life than they appear on the phone on my on my phone on the camera so that's two coats of number one I actually really like that one. Then I'm going to go over the top with this top coat, which I think is a rubber top coat, but I'm not too sure. Um, it was really thick, and to the point that I was, I, I thought, this is this ever going to self-level? I mean, it was so thick. But after I used it on three or four nails, I, I actually really liked it. It's, it comes out super shiny. So, so look, you can see the hollow if I hold it up close. I wish I'd hold them. I'm sorry, you can just see my hairy fingers. Oh yeah, I was trying to look as well at the, at the same time. And, but look, oh, it looks really nice. Ooh. Came out really nice as well. Can you see how shiny it is? So I kind of at this point was like, okay, you know, don't judge it yet. Let's just keep going. <laughs> so I moved on to number two. Number two boop, is the yellow one. It's not gold. It's definitely a yellow. Oh, I almost yawned then, like I was bored. I'm not bored. I'm just ever so tired. I've been getting up at half past five to walk my dog before my other half goes to, to work. I've been very good. That's one coat. But do you know what? I can get so much done as well in the mornings before the kids get up. The only thing is, it means I'm in bed by half eight. <laughs> oh nine o'clock i have to be in bed if i'm not in bed by nine o'clock asleep then i know i'm gonna be a miserable gear the next day <laughs> so this is number three i really like this one it's a gorgeous purple again i'm not doing the hollow any justice i wish i held them a little bit close can you see it can you see it i don't know that you can i'm quite upset with myself because i promise you in real life they are more holographic than they appear on the camera they're all re they're really pretty though um number four is this number four yeah this is number four so this is a silver hollow glitter um it is not metallic silver i promise you it's hollow again i just have not done it any justice so that's coat one you could always put these over a, um, like for instance, the purpley one. You could put it over a color coat of purple um, as a, just to give it a bit of glitter. Um, or you could use these on their own, you know, using two coats. This is number five. Is it this one? No, 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 it's not this one. It's the next one. So the next two colors are not that holographic. Um, but I think the gel that they're in is a little bit too opaque and I think it kind of hides the hollow. 
but let I don't know we'll, we'll have a look in a minute we're just gonna do the second coat of this one there we go you can kind of see it better if I put my hand underneath it which I didn't really I don't know I didn't know at the time so this is number six this is a red and it's actually a really nice red it would make a really good color at Christmas the only thing is I don't think you can see the hollow very well with this one you might buy this and get it and think actually yeah I can but I don't think you can so that's coat one it's a really nice glittery red though even if it does hide the hollow <laughs> I will leave a link to these in the description box. I don't know if I've said that before. Um, if you do want to get 10% off, you, you can use my code, which I think is natmug10 in lowercase, all in lowercase. Um, but again, I'll pop that in the description box as well for you. This is number seven. So this is a really vivid pink. Oh, it's like a hot pink. I love this color. But this is the other one that I couldn't really see the hollow in it much if at all um i was holding it up close to me but i think that i think the gel might be a little bit too opaque i'm not sure i'm not a gel manufacturer <laughs> but either way it's a really pretty glittery pink i like it a lot and then the last one is number eight which is a kind of if you're not sure whether to go pink or purple it's kind of one of those good colors to have because it's like an in-between color what, what would you call, would you call this more a pink or a purple i find i don't know i'm difficult with it. Um, i don't know i just call it a pinky purple or a purpley pink because it wouldn't matter either way really would it <laughs> but this is the last one i'm gonna do a couple of designs with them and i've also got oh, can i see the number on that lid Five. is that number five does it say five yes i think that was number five and number three so what i'm doing is i'm just putting these on the nail and i'm making sure that they flow all in the right direction don't worry if you've got gaps number four so if you are worried about contaminating your brush just make sure you um wipe it on a lint free wipe before you pop it back in your bottle and then number eight. So I'm gonna just pop these on the nail. I'm really cold. Brr. It's cold today. So making sure that they all run in the same direction. And then don't worry about the gaps because if you take a detailing brush, you're just gonna move the product around, making sure that you cover the gaps up. And then you can also use this time to almost marble the colors together or slightly blend them um depends it depends kind of what design you want really i'm just sort of mm, kind of both really making a marbly blend i suppose and then once i'm happy i love this already i just love these colors together they are so pretty i'm going to stick that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds then i'm going to take the yoyogi gel paint in 009 which is their black these gel paints are so affordable. I don't usually like the word cheap. I like the word less expensive because something can be cheap and can be really good. And the, like, when you think of cheap things, I think of cheap crap. But honestly, for the price, I love these. These gel paints are just the shiz. They, you just need them. If you can't afford, if you want gel paints and you can't afford a lot of money, get these um i'm gonna make i have made like marbly lines <laughs> um, then i'm gonna take this top coat that i don't know if it's rubber top coat or not and we're gonna cover this by the way i cured the yogi gel paint for 60 seconds and then we're gonna go over with this really super thick top coat that i really like oh, look at that though i absolutely love that nail it just sparkles like nobody's business i love it and then i decided to do one more because they sent me these poly gels some of these are chameleons so the chameleon ones they're temperature change ones 
Uh, when you put them in the lamp, they go white, but when they're cold, they go blue. Uh, they go whatever the colour they are. Um, so when they're cold, they... Yeah, so when they're cold, they're the colour they say they are on the tube. And when they're hot, they change to white. <laughs> Got there in the end. Um, so I'm going to use... I think it was this almost... I think it was about this point here. Nope. Yeah, this point here. So on the, tu on the tube, this one says poly nail gel. And... If they're chameleon ones, they say chameleon gel. You see here, chameleon gels. So the chameleon gels ones are the coloured ones. All right, this one's a colour as well, but you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Probably not, because I talk rubbish sometimes. I talk absolute nonsense, not rubbish. Just I just will fall out of crap. So I just... <laughs> sometimes I even know. I've seen it now. I'm getting tongue tied and I can't talk because I'm just a plonker. Yes, I am a plonker. It has been known. Um, what I'm doing here. Get back to the uh, the video nets we are putting some of the pink one on i really like the pink color if i was going to do my nails with poly gel i would use that pink i'm taking some of the white the white is a really nice bright white and i know i'm going to be asked about curing i didn't have any trouble with it curing in the lamp either um but it was mixed in with other colors i haven't tried it on its own um so i'm now taking the rose color one this colour is adorable. I freaking love this colour. Look how this... Oh, look at that colour. That is... I love it. Freaking love it. So, I'm going to drop it all over the place. I'm going to put the rose one on the bottom. And then I'm going to start to mix the colours together to create a kind of marble. I am going to put a little bit more pink at the bottom and blend them in. There we go. And then we're just going to marble, 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 marble. And then I will take a gel brush and I will just push the product into place. I've got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on the end of my brush just to make sure that the product doesn't stick. But you don't want to oversaturate the brush. And if, if it does start sticking to the product, that's when you know you need a little bit more. Um, you need to moisten your brush. <laughs> so I've... Put it in the lamp to cure and I filed and buffed it. I cured it for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to take the number 8 gel polish and I'm just going to apply. I kind of wanted to make some vein, almost like some like a, a veins running through that rose. Because I kind of I found that the rose poly gel ended up in that sort of section on the right on the left hand side. So I thought I would just create like almost like some veins, like, you know, in a marble. And then I've cured that in the lamp and then I'm going to take the black and I'm just going to use the black to define the veins a little bit more. And I will, yeah, that's what I'm doing really. I was going to say, and I will, and I was like, no, that's just what I'm doing. There is no I wills. <laughs> oh my God, what's up with me today? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to bring the black out as well just away from the pink see out here like this i'm gonna do a couple of these as well just yeah let's just shove one up there and maybe one more down there and then i will cure this for 60 seconds and when it comes out you'll see that it's gone white can you see it's gone white now other than the pink gel polish on top and then as it starts to cool down you'll see that it will the pink will start to to come alive again it's not dead, but you know, <laughs> it's, yeah, come alive. No, it's not dead. Um, and then I'm going to stick that back in the lamp. So this is when you'll see what I mean. Why am I out of shot? Okay, there we go. So you can see the rose poly gel underneath. I'm going to cure it. And now you can't see it. It just looks white other than the gel polish on the top. Huh, I like that. So that's that design. I really like this one in the end. I was like, oh, I really like that. Did I just do that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And then this was the holographic one. So I hope you like these. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing or you won't be able to say a complete sentence without getting tongue tied. Don't forget, I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget, you won't forget. Love, Shabbat.